Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about my F45 challenge. If you don't know what that is, they have gyms all over the world. F45 combines elements of high intensity interval training, circuit training, and functional training. This combination of training has been proven to be very successful in burning fat and gaining lean muscle mass. Because of COVID, gyms were closed and working out at home was extremely difficult, especially with two toddlers. I started getting back fat, which I never had. So I knew that I needed to do something once the gyms reopened. I just couldn't have that. I was a little bit worried about going back to the gym, but what I love about F45 Jefferson is that they are extremely, extremely clean and they have amazing precautions uh, and have a lot of protocols in place. When you enter the gym, you need to be wearing a mask, you sanitize your hands, you go to your station, which you don't leave, so there's no sharing of equipment. Once you're done your exercises, uh, you wipe down your own equipment. Uh, and then once you leave, they hydrogen peroxide the whole place. So before we start the challenge, we are doing, what is this fat body index? So our InBody 270 is a body composition measurement device. So it measures not only your weight, but a lot of other factors as well that help us become better informed about what's happening with your body and how we can best achieve your goals during the 45 day challenge. So what you'll have you do is we'll first have you step up onto the scale. Your heels will align with those metal uh, uh, pads there. Now we just all stay still. And what's happening right now is a mild electrical signal is pulsing through your body and that's able to determine uh, muscle mass, fat mass, water, and a few other factors as well that we'll be looking at when the results are printed off. So now that the test is finished, you can actually take your hands off the scale. You can hop on off, put your shoes on and your coat. Just give a moment, the results will print off and then we can uh, digest and get into the 20%, 20.1% 20 body fat. Well, to be honest with you, we can actually look at the norms for everybody in your age that's completely within the average. So the gist of it, your body fat mass is the weight you're carrying in fat on your body. And of course the weight is the culmination of all of those factors. So 39.8 pounds of body fat. Correct. What we want to see in this line as we work through the challenge is something what we call the D line. So we're pushing skeletal muscle mass up while weight and fat drool down, creating a D shape in that graph. So an I line, middle of the road, means you're poised for great results. So whatever you're looking to do, whether it's to lose or to gain, you're in a great position to do it. But what's important are two things, discipline in the gym, perfecting your form, letting us help you really delve into doing the moves properly, which you already are for the most part, but just those little corrections, and your diet. I generally was eating healthy. I had my cheat moments. Everyone's gonna have a cheat day here or there. Everyone's gonna slip off a little bit, but I always like to say is if you're gonna fall off the wagon, don't roll down the hill. Have a cheat meal, not a cheat day. If you're looking for that heat, Week one was very intense. Having stopped for about four months working out and sitting on the couch and eating whatever I wanted, uh, once I went back to the gym, it was, it was intense. After the first week, I've really noticed that my stomach and my back fat, which I've never had, um, ha have dramatically gone down. So one thing I really loved is that you're seeing everybody's progress up on the board. That's my heart rate. It helped push me and it helped motivate me even though I was tired and maybe, you know, I was having an off day and I didn't really feel like pushing myself. I would see those results and want to push myself. This is for my back fat. It's about midway, and I just want to die. 
and this is not even a cardio day. This is a weight day. By the fourth week, it started getting a lot easier. My body was getting used to it. My recovery time was was much faster. It went from like a minute and a half to 30 seconds. The more you do it, the more you you want to challenge yourself to increase what you're doing and to increase your energy and push yourself further, which I love. So here we are, there's eight days left, um, and I'm noticing a massive improvement, especially in my midsection. What I do love about F45 is that you work on your own pace. So you're in your square for 45 minutes, um, and you can go as hard or as soft as you want, and uh, it's really you're challenging yourself every time you come in, and you're really noticing a difference week after week with your endurance, um, and your strength and your recovery time. So eight more days and we'll show you the results. So here I am, last day of F45 challenge. I'm gonna do the weigh-in. I'm really excited. Mid-month was pretty good. Um, so I'm just excited to see where 45 days, minus a week because of my back, took me. So here we go. Starting your in-body test. So we've seen another full percentage drop in body fat. So we've dropped down now almost 3% body fat. 3% body fat. That's amazing in 45 days. We've kept muscle mass consistent across our last two cycles. So that's not bad, that's good, because that also would account for that time taken as a rest for recovery. And as you can see, we've now dropped down weight. Look how much we've lost from the start to the finish. This is tremendous. Amazing. Honest to God, I really feel that you should be really happy. I feel good, I feel good. So it, yeah, like I lost six pounds in total. Right. But look at the weight that we've put on in muscle mass, right? Yeah. Like this is the point. Muscle weighs more than fat anyway. So we're not looking to lose dramatic amounts of weight anyway. That was never the point of our challenge, your challenge specifically. Everyone's different. Uh, but specifically where we were looking to get with you, I think that in the 45 days we accomplished a great deal. Yeah, no, I feel it especially in my... You can see it. My, the back fat that I never had oh, is not true. there anymore. So overall, I went from 20.1% body fat to 17.5% which is an incredible result in 45 days. So I lost five pounds of fat and I gained two pounds of muscle, which again is incredible in 45 days. But really, I just felt better. I felt stronger, I had more energy. I feel that this is sustainable. I, I didn't lose crazy amounts of fat, but the results you can tell uh, when just looking at me, I mean, my mom looked at me and was like, oh, your shoulders look bigger. After I measured in on mid the midway point, I had already lost 2% body fat, which was incredible considering how I took a week off. I'm very happy with the results. I'm gonna continue to, to train with F45 and I'm looking forward to their next challenge because I'm gonna challenge myself even more uh, and try to get back into the shape I was before the girls. <laughs>
Overall, I highly recommend F45. They have gyms all over the world. It gives me energy, it gives me motivation. I really enjoy it. I'm doing a giveaway with F45 Jefferson. If you're in Canada and in the GTA area, don't forget to comment and subscribe for a chance to win a two week pass to try out F45 Jefferson. Well, Cam, I'm really, really pleased with the results. Thank awesome. you so much. And I look forward to the next 45 Absolutely. day challenge. We've only just begun. That's the yes. best part. We just got started and we're on a great track. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and have an amazing day.